not the response you wanted after Boxing Day. Nah, exactly. So it's maybe the first time since two and a half years where I feel really embarrassed uh, because it was um, not good enough, especially after the second goal. You could see we broke apart there. It can't happen. Um, but first half was a good game from us. Um, I think we had the better chances and especially the first chance of the game where we need to score. But this is what, is, what it is at the moment, so you need to overcome this period. Uh, we definitely uh, watch at the things where we uh, still have to improve and we will be improving. Um, it's not coming overnight. It's, it's, it's a long, long, hard way at the moment. We're not with the results we want to have, even if you watch every single game where you can see exactly what happened there. But at the end of the day, this is a tough time uh, where we have to make sure that we stay together as a club, um, the players, um, the management team, the fans, everyone together because uh, it's not easy. And you could see after the second goal where we conceded, we're not full of confidence at the moment. Uh, and we, we, we need to get rid of this, uh, rid of it. But uh, as I said, we just need to make sure that we um, that we do the things in the right way for 90 minutes. In spite of not playing well at 1-0, there was always a chance of getting back in the game, but 2-0, it, it was like the air went out of the balloon, wasn't it? it yeah, exactly. It's maybe exactly the, 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 the right word. You could see everyone was down after the 2-0 because they really wanted to um, to do it better today, desperately. And you could see in the first half was a great fight. Uh, we put it in the half. We we, we um, had a few uh, situations in the box, especially the big, big chance with Tanner where he needs to put it away. But that's how it is at the moment. So it's you don't score the one, uh, the opener for us, and uh, one minute uh, later you uh, get it in the back of your own net. So this is exactly where we are at the moment. But as I said, uh, the only thing what helps at the moment is working hard. Don't lose the trust in the boys um, in general, because you can see even when you lose a game 4-0, um, no one is going home and is happy about it or is not, is not caring or whatever. The boys are very down at the moment, so I need to um, get them up now and I need to make sure that they're ready for the next game. Can you understand the fans' frustration at losing twice to their local rivals who got overtaken you at the top of the league? You know, after such a good start to the season, you know, it, it seems as though things are, are falling apart. Is, can you give them any hope that, that you can pull it back together again? Um, yeah, 100%, because it's not everything bad what you see. So, um, obviously, I know the results is the only thing what matters to everyone, and uh, this is what matters in the league, in, in football in general. Um, but I have to uh, see the games and I have to see what they are doing in, in a positive way and take the positives and try to find the positives even in, in, in tough defeats because uh, that's the only thing what helps at the moment. So to answer your question, yes, I can understand every single fan who's frustrated, uh, but it doesn't help to tell, tell the players um, or, or give them some bad uh, uh, things uh, because the only thing what helps is try to be positive with them because they need support. You could see today after the second goal. So they are not full of confidence at the moment. So what they need is support. They need support from the fans and they need support from me. So I can go in there and I can smash every single player and say that that's not good enough and um, we bring 10 new players in and blah, blah, blah. But that's not, the, that's not the solution. The solution is we need to stick together, what I said after the second loss, I think, uh, because you always can experience this in football. It's not just one way and you always win games and everything what happens is into your way and, and you could see a few things again which went against you today but we can't feel sorry for ourselves we just need to roll up the sleeves and go again and um, try harder 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 with hard work and um, uh, then we will be in the a, in a, in a, in a right state of mind and if we're in the right state of mind and not too shaky as you could see after the second goal um, we will be fine and then we will uh, grind, uh, yeah, work hard for getting the right results and then uh, we go back uh, where we have been before. You've got a big squad, you've obviously suffered injuries here and there, you had another one today, Joe Martin went off, is that a short term thing or could it be? I can't tell you at the moment, we need to assess him tomorrow and then we'll see where we are. Um, obviously uh, you could see we couldn't pick him the last game and we said like, mm, okay, we, we give it a go for this game. Um, he felt uh, fine in training, we did uh, training sessions with him where he was fine, so we said okay, we go then. Um, but it's always a risk, uh, especially um, this time of the year when they have already played a few games and it's always a risk for players if they're not 100%. Um, so we will assess him tomorrow and then we will see if it's a short term or a little bit longer, similar to uh, Luke O'Neill, where I'm not sure he played an outstanding game um, until we needed to sub him off. So he uh, was a great player for us today. But apart from that, as I said, um, it doesn't help to 
put my finger on individual uh, errors and, and, and try to uh, make people down and, and, and try to uh, find players where I, have to, where I can blame them. Um, I know exactly what we do right, what we do wrong and uh, if I want to blame someone I blame myself because that's the only thing where you can get better uh, and that's what we do and um, that's what the players are doing so uh, we will stick together and we will, uh, everyone will see when we play against Weymouth they will fight for their lives again um, and they will try to make it better to get the right result. After the Boxing Day game, going back to the fans again, there was, there was a clamour for a, a, a centre forward rather like Alex Wall who scored again today. Are you tempted to consider bringing somebody in like that? As I said after the last game, um, we always consider if it makes sense or not, but um, it's a situation where we um, have to make sure that it's a good fit for our club. Yeah? So it's not like we bring someone in just for the sake of bringing someone in. We can be happy that Elliot uh, Romain is back now, so um, this is after his spell at Hamel, a good time to come back now. He has confidence, so that's what we need at the moment. Um, if we find players and if we think like they are the right fit for us, then we definitely consider it. Um, but uh, as I said, it's not easy to find the right players for our club because um, they need to have a few, um, a few qualities, what you might not need for in other teams, but we definitely need at Absolute United. So uh, not, not for me, just for who we are and, and, and how we play and what we want to achieve and um, having always a good crowd and a good pitch and, 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 and all these things. So it's not easy to come to us and just come in and play. You need to have uh, special qualities and, and if we find them, we definitely um, consider it. But I can't tell you at the moment. This, this string of results, the, the four defeats in succession, makes Saturday's game against Weymouth absolutely massive for you, doesn't it? To bounce back. Yeah, I don't like the uh, sounding of, yeah, this is the biggest game and whatever. So we had two massive games uh, with two derbies, which we lost heavily. So these two games were really big games um, uh, for everyone who's involved with Absolute because no one likes to lose two games in a derby in, in, in six days. So this was big. Now it's back to the league action and we play Weymouth. That's fine. They are on a good run because they are in a good form and they won many, many games in the last few months. So it's, it's another tricky game. So everyone who who knows we played there, we got a 3-2 win and this was a very hard fought win in 30 degrees, so this is not an easy game or whatever, especially where we are at the moment. Uh, but it's another chance to bounce back and that's the only thing what we need to do at the moment. We need to bounce back and when we get the one result, the confidence will grow and, and the players will feel more uh, comfortable to uh, do the right things on the pitch and not think about it if it's right or wrong to do it now. Uh, and then we will be back on track. But as I said, we need to work hard and harder. Uh, that's what we have to at the moment. Everyone who's in a bad patch and, and, and that's where we are at the moment. And uh, as I said, when we do the things in the right way and uh, we get a little bit more luck um, to score the first goal and, and, and to hold on. And I don't know if this goal was over the line there. So they're coming a few things together. And um, if they are coming for us, but they're not falling, uh, just for, uh, on, 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 I don't know, accidentally, you need to work hard for that and that's what we have done in pre-season. Um, we are in a, in, a, in a, I would say, mentally not in a good position at the moment, but as I said, it just helps if we try to pick up the boys, every single one, um, and make sure that they uh, go again with more confidence, because if we have enough confidence and we get our results, we will be fine. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you.